what we're going to turn in for our keychain projects. We're going to make a new drawing, just like we've done on our previous projects. We're going to put some of the dimensions on there and make it a nice little diagram. So we're going to start out by making a new drawing. Again, instead of clicking here, I like to click over here on new just to make sure we get it in metric. New metric. And with metric, you notice there's a lot more drawing options here. Again, these are all just international standards. Great Britain, Japan, uh, Germany. So we're just going to click on the ANSI millimeter.idw. So this one right here. Create. Again, we're going to get rid of these borders we don't need. So I'm going to click on both of them. If I hold down shift, I can select two things at the same time. Right click and delete. And change my paper size, right click my sheet, edit sheet to size A. It's going to give me an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. That's a normal size sheet of paper right there. So we want to put our three view drawing on here. So I'm going to hit base view up at the top. If I have it open down here, if I have my part already open, it'll show up in this drop down box. Otherwise, I have to click on this one. Um, Let's do my number two right here. I'm going to hit open. You probably won't get that error, but if you do, just hit OK. All right. So since this is a lot smaller than my piece of paper, I can actually scale this up. I'm going to put it at a two to one so it fits nicely on my paper. I've got these little gray arrows right here. I can click the top. I can click the right. Now I've got my three view drawing. I've got my top, my front, and my side. And let's also add our isometric view up in the corner up here. Actually, no, don't do that yet. You can if you want to. Let's hit OK. So I've got my top, my front, my side. And for this one, let's go to annotate. Let's just get the dimensions of just the overall length, the overall height, and the overall width. And we don't necessarily need to know all of these things. If you're going to manufacture it, send it to somebody else, yeah, you would go in here and you would get all the dimensions. But let's just do your best to get the far left to the furthest point right and just come up here. Click, hit OK. So again, dimension, let's go from all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. Find your tallest point. So click dimension, click the lowest point, click the tallest point, pull it over to the side, hit OK. Dimension, furthest left to furthest right, pull it down. So I can see that this keychain is 54.12 millimeters wide, it's 8 millimeters tall, and it's 19.83 millimeters in depth right there. So width. For our isometric view, let's go back to place views. We'll go up to base. And if you've added the key ring onto there, we'll add that to our drawing. So my assembly right here that has the key ring on it, we'll add that as our isometric view. So I'm going to pull this up in the corner. And instead of hitting these arrows, I'm just going to change the view cube to put it at an angle. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it two to one. And we want this one shaded, so let's go ahead and make sure that this box right here is filled in so I get that nice shaded look right there. Hit OK. So that shows us what it's going to look like right there. If I want to move this key ring, make it say I want it at an angle so I can see it. Let's see. If I come over here to the side, if I right click and go to open. This should open the assembly file. And let's say I wanted to move this at an angle so I can see it's a key ring. Now when I come back here, it updates. Can't see it very well right there. Let's put it maybe right there. Yeah, it looks good right there. So 
So it looks good right there. As always, we need to make sure we put our name on our work. So we're going to go to Annotate, Text Tool, and just somewhere in the top corner. Name, what it is, period number. Hit OK. To turn this in, we're going to export it as a PDF file. So file, export as a PDF, and save it. Your initials, your period number, and hit save. So that's what you'll attach to turn in.